If you sign up for the ITVST courses, you might get access to ITVST labs like this. Let me walk you through how to connect to Postgres database to master SQL using Postgres using Jupyter Hub based environment. This is nothing but a Jupyter Hub based environment. You will get material, code, everything together. You just have to practice to get comfortable with whatever technology you are learning. However, if you want to launch a new notebook and practice your own stuff, you can always go to file, go to new launcher and then click on Python 3 or you can also go to file, new notebook choose python3 kernel from here and then you can take it further now this is a python based notebook in this there is something called as a sql magic you can load it using this command called as load underscore ext sql and then you should be able to run queries after creating environment variable called as database underscore url however to connect to your database you also need to have username password database name etc we will pre-create for you when we actually set up account and we'll share those details you just have to leverage those things there are certain patterns which you can follow depending upon the examples which i will be walking through if i am actually connecting to a particular database called as sms the database name will be like this sms db the username will be sms user however for each and every user who have access to the labs there will be a set of uh, details that will be provided to connect a particular database with their os username prefix to get your os username you just have to go to file new and then terminal you should be able to see the os username here so this is the os username and you can actually prefix this before uh, the designated database username etc and take it further when it comes to password the same password which will be given to you to access our material can be leveraged to connect to the databases and you can take it further that being said now let me actually walk you through how to validate whether you have ability to connect to the database or not so first you have to run this command it will load something called as sql magic once it is loaded you should be able to run sql queries like this however you have to update something called as database underscore url with valid postgres connectivity url based off sql alchemy so sql magic in jupyter hub actually uses sql alchemy under the hood to connect to the database which is nothing but a python based database connector and we have to pass the url for sql alchemy so the url contains the protocol which is nothing but postgres sql a database name colon slash slash the username in my case it is itversity underscore sms underscore user in your case it will be your os username underscore sms underscore user colon the password will be provided to you password will be a bit complicated based upon the password you just have to replace this sms underscore password with your password at localhost postgres is installed locally if postgres is installed separately we'll provide that information to you when you actually sign up for our lab either you can use localhost or the server that is provided to you then colon then the default port number for for postgres is 5432 however it might be different if it is different we'll share it with you and then the database name in this case for my user itversity it is itversity underscore sms underscore db it will be your os username underscore sms underscore db the reason why we are giving a separate database and separate user for each and every user who signs up our, to our course is so that the users have exclusive permissions to read write and uh, drop the tables for those reasons we have provided a separate database along with the user now you have to create this environment variable called as database underscore url then you have to run this command called as sql star from information schema dot tables limit 10 if you are able to connect to the database with all correct information then you should be seeing results for this table if you are not seeing results for this table then there is something wrong and you have to troubleshoot and take it further you can reach out to the support and we will provide required support for you to ensure that you are able to connect to the database if you are not able to connect to the database with the information provided you cannot go further and practice the remaining stuff